Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to my very first summer tubbing of 2018. I'm very excited. I tried this last year. I was not able to breed any fish, but I had a beautiful water garden. So here we go. This is the, this is the tub we're going to be going over and it's going to have white clouds. And let me show you what I, it's in there now and how I built it and how the white clouds are coming along. Let's take a look. I'm waiting for it to get warm, but we're already in June and it's pretty cold. It's hoody weather still. <laughs> so here are my white clouds. Right now I, they're in a 15 gallon. There's two rainbow shiners, but I think they're both males, but I really don't know. I've already taken some of the plants out and put them in my summer tubbin so that way at least the bottom of the tub will have the same feel. I doubt I have to go through that kind of acclimation. but So it's about the same temperature but I'm still going to acclimate them for a long time. Okay, so these are my white clouds. I got them a while. I got them in the beginning of spring thinking I was going to start my summer tubbin but it's been so stinking cold. But I only see one one rainbow shiner which is odd because i know i have two i don't see any move but i'm going to keep this tank going in case there's babies in here if there's fry in here i don't want to just tear it down and make it something else so i'm going to keep this going for a while plus there's a lot of snails i want to harvest from here for my pea puffers uh, i'm thinking i should probably put some snails in here where's the other rainbow shiner Okay, so I added the floating plants. I think it's the boca. Oh, kambala. Kam kambala. I just took them out. This is the tank that they were in. I'll take you outside. And we'll see the uh, their new home. It's so funny. We're in June. And it's cold. I have to go. I'm going to go put on a hoodie. It's cold. I got shorts on. <laughs> my Crocs. And I'm cold. It's crazy crazy but I'm working on this summer tub let me show you what I got so here's one of the summer tubs I got the water hyacinth this little fountain head I'd gotten for a couple dollars because it was in a collection of broken items at a fish store about eight months ago I'm going to show you the filter that I have going on down there that I got at the auction my uh, fish club auction so this is a filter that is in the my summer tub it's all sponge the whole basket is one big bat there's a plastic basket inside all foam bio balls I, I put in my own uh, pump for my aquaponics and my part of the fountainhead that I bought before because it only came with the, the box the foam box and now I have a pretty powerful filter in this it does take electricity, so I'm still trying to figure out what kind of filter can I create that would run off of solar so I don't have to keep plugging things in. I got these Creeping Jennies for 99 cents at Home Depot that they're all buying and I'm sure I can bring it back. Which this is actually also a water plant. Let's see here. It was sold to me as a marginal. Red Retala. Red Rotala, so. Uh, uh, variegated Iris. I believe this is going to go in my pond, but it's sitting here for now. A sword plant. I know they don't like to be moved much, but I moved it, so. Now I can see some duckweed, so it's going to be an issue. I knew there was no way I was going to get away without duckweed, but I'm going to try real hard to keep it at bay. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of the glare. I got some crypts that were growing in a Tupperware inside the same tank as the fish were. Some other crypts. I got some tissue culture plants that I've got growing in this. Unfortunately, when it rained, it upset the apple cart a little bit and I lost most of them. But I did find them on the ground and started putting them back in. Oh, and I do have a one water lettuce that was overwintered. Didn't think it was going to make it. It was a lone survivor and look, I already got two babies. So this stuff is like powerhouse. 
up in the duckweed is not. I'm just gonna pick out duckweed as fast as I see it. I know I'll probably never get rid of it now that I moved the sword plant out here, but that's all right. I'll do my best. So this is the summer tub that I'm going to put my white cloud minnows in. And my two rainbow shiners if I ever find the other one. So that's this one. It's a, like a kidney shape. There's a little shelf for it. So what I did is I put a cinder block under it for support because I can't really dig down here or cement. I'm gonna fill all this in with rock to keep the weeds at bay. But this tank is cycled and ready to go for my white clouds. I'm gonna acclimate them. Let me go get them outside. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm acclimating these fish. Uh, they're actually in that Tupperware with the floating plant on top. I'm gonna to take the floating plant out in a little bit and put it in the tub. I'm also taking some of this water out because I noticed after I added some more of these plants, it was just a little too full, one good rain, and I might lose some fish. I don't know, do I set up an overflow on here? Or should I just drill holes up top? I don't want to ruin it if I'm going to use it as an actual pond. Maybe I'll set up some PVC overflow like I would in a fish tank. So when it gets to this level, it just automatically drains. Hmm. Very interesting. I really like this. Sure thing. I do have some pond snails on here, and I'm okay with that. I got puffers, so I could cultivate the pond snails. That would be great, too. And right now, they are all getting used to the temperature. Once they get used to the temperature, I'll take some of this water out and slowly add kind of like a drip acclimate, but I'll be dripping like with my fingers instead of natural whatever. This might be a lot of plants. I need more plants over there, so I'll take some of this and move it to the other summer club. I'll split it. We'll share. So let's take a look, more closer look as they are. There's a the red rainbow shiner, and there's all my white clouds. There should be two rainbow shiners, but I think they're both male. So I've got to be on a quest to find some rainbow shiner females, probably three of them. I don't know if they can all be breed in the same tank, but they were all in the same tank because they're my cold water fish. So I'll have to do some research. If not, I'll, maybe that's what will go over there because those red rainbow shiners are gorgeous. I just think they're beautiful. I can't wait to see what they look like out here in the sun. So I think I have some white clouds in here and some golden white clouds in here, actually. I do, I do. And I do not see the one with the crooked back anymore. Where'd he go? I did not call him. I thought about it. So, yeah, there's some golden white clouds in here. Well, some white, cloud, white clouds. There are white clouds in there. <laughs> yeah, I think this is at a good level. Oh my gosh, after a year, I finally learned how to siphon without sucking it. <laughs> genius. Of course, I didn't have the video on. I thought I turned it on and I come back and the footage was done. So, let's see if we can see. This is a shallow end of the summer tub. And this is where they're all hanging right now, which is pretty darn cool. Because I think once they go into this end, I might not see them as well. Although the water is pretty crystal clear. Because, oh, it is so cold out here. The water is nice. I just can't get over that it's June and I have to go put a hoodie on. All right, so here is my white cloud summer tub. This is my biggest summer tub. It's actually it's a preformed pond as well, but it's like nice. I like the shape of it. And it's got a shelf for marginals. Thanks for checking out.
my summer tub with me. Join me next time while hopefully I'll have my next summer tub set up.